hello. Today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite booktube channels, the channels that I watch most frequently and always get bumped to the top of my watch later priority list because let's be real, there's only so many hours in the day that are for free time and leisure so the amount of time that I have to watch booktube is so, so minimal that I don't get a lot of video watching in. I really wish that I got more. So you guys always ask who my favorite booktubers are. So I thought we could talk about it today. I would absolutely love booktube channel recommendations that you guys love that you think I'd be interested in. I have been following a lot of the same creators for a long time. And of course there's some new ones. I would always love to have a more diverse subscription feed. So please give me your booktube channel recommendations in the comments as well as I would love to see them. But first I want to start today with some of my very favorite friends on booktube and just some smaller channels in the community. So people that I know and talk to their channels first. Okay. So the very first channel that I have to recommend and that I always, always prioritize when they put out a new video is Angela from Literature Science Alliance. I love her channel. I've been watching it like probably from the very beginning. I don't know, for a long time. She has the best book recommendations ever. I tell her this all the time because we talk quite frequently and I get more recommendations from her channel than any other channel I watch. She's so smart such an intelligent but like eloquent speaker and she just has this way of talking about books that really make sense. She also is the best at recommending books to people so like she always knows whether I'm going to like a book or not. I mean like most of the time. So if you have not checked out her channel please do so. All of these channels will be linked in the description box below so you can just easily find their channel and hit the subscribe button because they definitely all deserve it. She reads a lot of of sci-fi as well as fantasy and other genres and I think that's what's really unique about her channel is the variety of different book genres that she reads from. She has a broad range of interests and I love her behind the science type of videos she makes since she works in the field of science so make sure you go give Angela a follow. Next we have my dear beautiful sweet friend Joanna. She is such a wonderful human being and that just shows in all of her videos. She just has a stunning presence in the way that she speaks and presents herself. It's so soothing and comforting to listen to. She's been making her way through Malazan Book of the Fallen so there's a lot of discussion videos there as well as really in-depth and interesting conversations about other topics and creators. I love the discussion type of videos that Joanna does and she's just a friend that always brings joy and a smile to your day. Watching her videos is such a pleasure and I'm so thankful to know her and be friends with her as well. We've done some collaborations on Malaz and stuff and there will be more to come in the future. But like I said, she has more than just Malaz and content on her channel. She's just so well-spoken, so intelligent. All of her videos are so thought out and have so much purpose. I love her channel. I always watch them right away. As well as my wonderful friend Ola with the channel The Reading Witch. So she does really fun reviews and like tarot card readings. She always does like a great mixture of super unique booktube content and things like predicting her next read or your next read or even predictions with tarot reading within a certain series. She is a friend that I've also been reading Malaz and Book of the Fallen with, but we have a lot of other interests in common. We are very much alike, her and I. I absolutely adore her. And I'm so thankful for her friendship and that I met her through booktube. Booktube would not be the same without Ola, that's for sure. She's just a channel I can always count on for unique, one of a kind booktube content that you won't find on any other channel. And that's something really special because there's a lot of us booktubers out here all trying to do the same thing and making our own place in this community. So I can always count on her for something unique. Okay, then the channel Books with B. I love her channel and we don't always have the same 
opinions about books. I met her through a collaboration video we did a while back and then have watched her videos ever since. So there's something so calming and soothing about her speaking voice that that's something that can be kind of important when you're listening to videos. And I can just listen to like a 40 minute long video of her and then I'm like, oh, where's the time gone? I needed to be doing something. I literally listened to her talk about how she doesn't love the Starless Sea and I'm just like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so she definitely reads some romance that I don't read. Like I said, our tastes don't always align, but I love her tier ranking videos. I love always catching her wrap ups. And she's somebody who I always really look forward to whenever she posts a new video. I'm always excited about it. So be sure to check out her channel as well. Then we have Billy from the channel Billy Bonsai, who I started watching his channel this past year and then participated in the read along for Berserk. I love his channel because first of all, he reads a lot of Junji Ito, which is a horror manga author that I have been getting into, but he also just reads a lot of books that would not be on my radar whatsoever if I didn't hear about them through him. And that's what I'm looking for a lot of times when I'm watching booktube. I don't want to hear about the same five books every day, all day. I look forward to watching content where somebody's bringing something new and exciting. And I always get that from his channel. His reviews are excellent as well. Like I feel like the way he talks about books, I'm able to get more so of an, a, an objective look at will I like this book or not? Because it's not skewed towards one way or the other. He really presents it in a way that you might like this or you might not, I feel. So really glad that I found his channel this year. I think he's doing another read along for um, Dresden Files right now, if I'm correct. So we definitely have some different reading tastes, but I've had just nothing but great interactions with him so far. So I definitely recommend his channel. If you like Junji Ito, if you like fantasy, and if you are interested to learn about books that no one is talking about. Okay, next we have Counselor of Moonspawn's channel. And this is mostly Malazan content, but recently she's been doing more videos that are not just Malazan related, which is great. Very well thought out and well articulated essays or discussion type of videos that I thoroughly enjoy listening to. So once again, I just think they're a very unique content creator with such important and significant things to say. It's a breath of fresh air to this community. So while she might be more of a Malaz tuber, I definitely wanted to include her in my favorite booktubers list because I really look forward to any of the content that is not just Malazan related that she's done because like I said, it's just excellent quality content. And last but not least is Larry Has Opinions, whose channel I found this year and began watching. He is hilarious. I literally laugh so much in every video, but at the same time, I feel like his videos, he's very well spoken. And I can always count on his channel for once again, something creative and unique, something a little bit different than I see all day every day, which is just so refreshing, a breath of fresh air. Like I said, some of them are so funny. I mean, just look at some of his thumbs nails, you will already laugh. Probably you'll at least get a chuckle, but he's also reading a variety of different things, not just like typical standard fantasy, which I really appreciate and enjoy. So check out all of these channels. I will have them all linked in the description because they all deserve a subscribe. And I'm really glad that I found all of these channels. Okay, so now when it comes to larger content creators that probably everyone already knows about, I'll just go through my favorite ones. So hands down, without a doubt, I would watch any video that Kayla from Books and Lala produces. I mean, like literally anything. And it used to be that her and I did not share that many common books that we enjoyed. And things are kind of changing now to where my reading tastes have shifted. And I do enjoy a lot of what she reads. But even if she didn't, I would still watch her videos, no matter what it is that she is making, because there's something about her channel, there's something about her presence that I just love. I love, she's an excellent content creator. She's very creative. I love all of her different video ideas. She's just doing 
all kinds of different themed vlogs or challenges and experiments, things that are super fun and entertaining to watch. I like actually genuinely get excited when I see that she's posted a new video. I save it to watch during whatever next time I can. One thing that I really love about her videos is they tend to be super long sometimes. So sometimes it takes me two or three days to get through one video because I never have an hour to sit down and watch a YouTube video, but it doesn't matter. I will always finish the video because her videos are so entertaining, so great to watch. She's a lovely personality. I'm sure you already know about her. So Books and Lala is the first. I did wanna give an honorable mention to Whitney from Witty Novels who doesn't make videos anymore, but she was hands down my favorite booktuber of all time. I literally would just rewatch her vlogs and I never rewatch videos. Like when people talk about rewatching videos, that's not me, I never did, never found it entertaining. She brought so much joy to my life when I was in like a dark time and I am forever grateful and thankful to her for that. She is just a spectacular person and personality and I miss her videos so much. I would be like tears in my eyes laughing because she's so funny and I miss her videos so much, but I'm glad she's doing what's best for her and taking care of herself. And if she ever makes videos again, I will be very, very, very thankful. Okay, next we have Kat from Paperback Dreams, another all-time favorite, will stop anything I'm doing to watch her video, especially her videos with her dad and her sister. They are so freaking funny. Like I just sit there and laugh the whole time. She reads horror books, she reads weird stuff, she reads messed up stuff. I always get great recommendations from her channel. So entertaining, I don't even care. It could be the most unorganized video or like such a chill, casual, vibe of the video and I still will stop everything to watch it because I love her channel. I love what she's doing. I love her family relationships and I love what she's reading, but I'm sure you already know about Kat. Okay, we have Elias. I'm sure you know about him as well, but I absolutely love his channel. Once again, these are content creators that don't necessarily post like multiple times a week always. And I just look forward to their content. It's like, I don't really watch TV. So when these content creators make a new video, I'm like, yes, oh, I can't wait to watch it. It's time for a new episode, basically. I just think that their personalities shine so much. I love watching, like Elias has such this aesthetic, whether it is their like decor of where they live or just personal style, jewelry, tattoos, this or that. I don't know what it is, but such a great aesthetic that it's like, visually pleasing but at the same time I love what they have to say about books and I get a lot of thrillers brought to my attention from this channel as well but I would be very shocked if you weren't already watching Elias. Okay one of my very favorite ever is Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts. She is who I first learned about Juliet Merlier through and fell in love. I absolutely love Jean's feminist eye for things. She definitely reads a lot of queer SFF and focuses on feminism. She's getting her PhD in ancient Greek history, something along those lines. She's a historian. She's so intelligent, so well-spoken, not to mention a beautiful accent. And the way that she talks about books, I'm just like enamored with everyone. I'm like, oh, I have to pick that up next. So this is probably the other channel that I get the most book recommendations from because everything she talks about sounds interesting and it's sometimes authors not from the United States since she doesn't live in the United States. She's just very like socially aware and cares about human beings and the environment, all kinds of things. She just seems like a great person and has great book taste on top of that. So I love the unique recommendations I get from Jean's channel. Next we have the queen of vlogs in my opinion and that is Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte. And once again, we don't always have the same taste in books. We don't always read the same things. She reads fantasy and some young adult that I'm not that interested in or a lot of like thriller mysteries that I don't really care about. I don't care. I just watch for the vlogs, her chatty sessions in the vlogs. She has some of the best vlogs in my opinion. So I do watch all of her videos. She's a lovely personality and she's somebody that once again makes me laugh out loud during every single video, like multiple times throughout the entire video. She's freaking hilarious. I'm sure you guys already know about her channel anyways, but she is somebody that whenever they put out a new vlog, I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Then we have Allie from Hardback Quarter who I have been subscribed to for 
so long, probably one of the first booktube channels that I subscribed to. And she is so delightful. I love, first of all, once again, not to be shallow, but like her aesthetic of like her library and everything. We just have a lot of similar tastes when it comes to that. But she brings a lot of books to my attention from having worked at the library and especially when it comes to graphic novels. I hear about a lot from her channel. So I have also been like interested in watching her like home renovation since my house is being built. But once again, with her channel, every time she posts, I get excited to watch a new video from her. Sometimes we just have those like nostalgic feelings when somebody you first subscribed to when you found out about booktube. So Allie is definitely great. Then we have Alexandra Rosalyn and her energy just like exudes. It comes through the screen and she reads a lot of middle grade. So that's first why I subscribe to her. She has more energy than I think I could ever have in my entire life. I am really like a chill, mellow, resting bitch face type of gal. And she is like smiley, like bubbly over the top. So we are exact opposites. Maybe that's why I enjoy watching her channel. I'm not sure, but she's great. If you are looking for middle grade recommendations, specifically watch her channel because you will probably fall in love with her personality and you'll definitely get great middle grade recommendations. So I love pretty much all of her content that she puts out. I definitely watch it all. Then we have Rachel from Kalinati and I found her channel quite a long time ago because that's where I actually first learned about SF Masterworks. I saw them all and I think they were reading them and I was like, hmm, I wonder what these are. And then way later, I was like, I'm gonna start this channel project. I think also I remember seeing her knitting and I was like, you're so cool because I also am somebody who knows how to quilt and crochet and cross stitch and all of the things. So when I find that in another booktube channel, I think that's awesome. Similar to, I think Angela from Literature Science Alliance talks about that sometimes. But anyways, with Rachel from Kalinati, she reads a lot of sci-fi. She's so smart. Like she's somebody that kind of makes me feel dumb sometimes, but um, the way she talks about books, it, it is such a different perspective than when I come into reading because I'm somebody who's super emotional. I am so like empathetic when it comes to my reading. It's something, it has to do with my feelings a lot more than this like objectivity of the actual components of the book. So we're sort of opposite when it comes to that. But I think once again, that's something that attracts me to her channel. So she reads, like I said, a ton of sci-fi, a ton of translated books. She is absolutely, without a doubt, in every video, there's something that I haven't heard of. So I get a ton of recommendations from her videos and I can't wait to finally start prioritizing them now that I'm finishing up with some super long series this year on the channel. So I think that you will quite enjoy her channel if you are interested in sci-fi or some of the things that I mentioned, she is great. Okay, same thing with Jerry from Onyx Pages. So there's so much unique content on this channel. They do a lot of different like read-alongs or discussions, but you're also going to find so many unique and original book recommendations again. This channel focuses on magical realism and sci-fi fantasy from black authors. So it's definitely a great resource if you are specifically looking for book recommendations that fall into that category. And once again, I just love listening to the way that they talk about books and I feel like I can learn something. So excellent channel that I recommend. This is a channel that I have not been following for quite as long along with Jamie from Jamie's Library. I actually just started watching, I think a couple months ago, but I love her vlogs. I love the way she speaks about books. I love her confidence, her attitude. I love her feminist ideas and that perspective that it brings to the reading experience. She just has a great personality once again and somebody that's super fun and uplifting to watch but also relatable. I love watching just whatever she's doing in her vlog content or whatever it is in her wrap up. She's also very well spoken, very easy to listen to and somebody that you probably already know about. Another more recent subscription is Jen Campbell, who I learned about a long time ago from Jean, Jean's bookish thoughts. And I believe that they're friends. And then I just started watching more of their work recently again, because I subscribed before, but now I'm sort of looking for different book recommendations as my interests and tastes are changing. So I love listening to her talk about books. 
I love finding the unique book recommendations that are sort of out of the huge, like, I don't know if there's a mainstream booktube, but I definitely find more unique book recs here than some other larger channels, even though she does have quite a large following. Once again, very well spoken, excellent content, and just somebody that I guess like I admire the way that they speak about books. Then we have Natasha from My Reading is Odd, somebody I have been subscribed to for ages. I absolutely adore everything they put out probably some of the most unique aesthetic and content on booktube. I think I started following her because of her love and obsession for Stephen King and like, man, that collection of Stephen King paperbacks. Now um, there's some more Furbies on the shelf if that makes you interested. But once again, lovely personality, super fun to watch, very entertaining videos, just something unique and different. And isn't that what we all want, right? Like unique? Variety, check out her channel. She's somebody that I've definitely been subscribed to for the longest as well. Then we have Chelsea with the channel Chelsea Palmer. I've watched her for the longest time as well. She's a horse girl like me, a farm girl, um, working with animals. She has her goats and it's just a great time on her channel. She's so relatable. She does read a lot of romance and I don't, but I don't care. I will still watch those videos. She's recently made a comeback to booktube, which I was so happy about when I saw, but I had to include her on here. And, and this is just mostly personality. Like I said, we read some of the same books, but there's a lot that we don't or don't agree on, but sometimes you just like and enjoy someone's presence and personality and that makes you gravitate towards their videos. So she's a channel that I love watching. And last but not least, we have Sarah from Sarah Without an H. Now she does not produce as much content anymore, but she still does create videos and I was subscribed to her from forever ago as well. So freaking funny, best freaking personality, just that like, she exudes like confidence and that is great to see. And I don't always read the same things as her, don't always agree on the same books, but she always brings something fresh and new and exciting to her content in the way that she's talking about her books, even if they are ones that everyone else is reading. I can always count on a different perspective from her. So I absolutely love her channel and I'd be shocked if you hadn't already heard of her as well. I've just been a fan of her for a long time. So that's a lot of channels. I am really curious to know what your favorite booktube channels are. I would love to hear if you told me some of your favorite content creators for book related content in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Also, are you shocked? Did you guys guess any of my favorites? Did you know who was going to be on this list? Um, who did you think was going to be my favorites? Let's just talk anything about booktube. And once again, there are so many, so many other wonderful booktubers and content creators that weren't in this video today. So many more channels that I love. So don't feel bad if you weren't on this list for some reason. This is just the people that I have loved for the longest. I could only talk about so many in one video. If you've made it to the end of the video, give me the little camcorder camera, like video recorder emoji for, you know, recording videos because that's what we do here. So let's talk in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Mm-hmm.